All right, hello everyone. This is Crota coming at you, giving you game number one in a series between Laliette and Hawk. Laliette spawning as the blue night elf, or excuse me, the yellow night elf player on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have Hawk spawning as the light blue human. Human versus night elf, 1v1 on Echo Isle, as they decided to play on the official Blizzard version, so I can in fact cast it. I believe this is actually a longer series, but I don't know if I'll actually be able to have time to cast everything. I am expected to go out and watch a movie. Um, well, just because it is my birthday. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Or it will be my birthday shortly. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. Warden making its way over and going to be able to take down this very, very early Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest down to seven hit points, and there it goes, falling at the hands of the warden there so Laliet gets a little bit more experience and that is going to definitely help him out on the flip side though he is not going to be able to hire up a troll shadow priest for quite some time since it does have a cooldown back at this mercenary camp a very very coveted unit in the early stages of the game as we are having a warden up against an archmage now we are looking at a potential fast expansion over here by hawk no big surprise a fast expansion very very common on echo isle but i will be surprised if hawk actually goes for supply greater than 50. the reason why is there is only two additional gold mines on this map and with that, it is very possible that every ounce of gold is pulled from, well, the earth. And if that is the case, if every single, if every amount of gold is pulled from the earth, whoever pays less in taxes will essentially be the victor. Now, let's see, or we'll have a very, very big advantage. Now, let's see what's going to be going down there. Tree of Life has been placed down. Archmage does spot this and is going to quickly make its way over to try and take down this Tree of Life. Are we perhaps going to get a, a Troll Berserker? No, Laliette picks it up very, very nicely done to make sure that there isn't additional piercing damage to try and take down this tree of life all right archmage was attempting to go for a denial off of the water elemental no such luck there as it will end up being a warden archers troll berserker with a tree of life going up against an archmage hawk is already fast expanding with this town hall he will get a large influx of cash in just a moment but he now needs to rethink his long-term strategy. Normally, two bases against one is what you want to do in this matchup. But knowing that the Tree of, or Ancient of War here and Tree of Life is already all here ready to go, this Archmage may try and drop another Water Elemental here, but it's just really not going to work. The Warding could easily Shadow Strike perhaps even blink to get in front of it that archmage now going to continue to chase you see the archmage now trying to get away will be able to get away here another shadow strike could be in order and there it is continual shadow strikes coming in from the warden if whoever gets boots of speed first will be able to purchase them and it looks like yes the boots of speed does end up going around there are we going to see another shadow strike no just getting in some extra damage before he teleports back home now, Hawk is going to take this opportunity to perhaps clear out this Renegade Wizard Creep Camp. There is a Wisp nearby, and that Wisp will end up falling. Are we perhaps going to get a detonation? Oh, Militia, quickly, quickly take care of that. Aggroing the creeps as the Archmage now makes its way over. Meanwhile, Warden sitting at level 3. Level 2 Shadow Strike does mean we will have a lot of very low hit point Militia here in just a second. Going after this Troll Shadow Priest right there, already taking a good amount of damage. That is down for the count as the Warden now com continues to go after these units here. All right, Archmage taking some damage, taking 150 damage now, trying to fight back here. Archmage being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal as Hawk is walking around here, being able to force this Town Portal, teleporting back over here to the south. But however, there is... Oh, no Shadow Strike. Wow. Shadow Strike down the two hit points. Archmage barely, barely, barely hangs on. Wow. who um, That Circlet of Nobility definitely saving that Archmage there. Even just for the passive regeneration, one hit point, two hit points would have made the difference. Gloves of Haste now being dropped down. 
Warden will definitely pick that up as we see the Ancient of Warden now making its way over. Now, the Warden is a rather strong hero. Very, very, very strong in that front line as most agility heroes are if you're not named a Shadow Hunter. Anyways, the Warden now making its way in here will be able to take down this level Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Picks up another Pendant of Energy. And even though you may be wondering, wow, 600 mana, what, um, that's just going to absolutely drain those Moon Wells. This is one of those perfect examples where the Warden is going to drop both of those Pendants of Energy, get to full mana, and then pick them back both up for an additional 300 mana. Additional 300 mana, an additional, what is that, four Shadow Strikes, maybe even five if you count the, uh, the natural mana regeneration on the Warden. So five extra shadow strikes from a warden. Eight to nine shadow strikes. Are we going to see him drop him? Come on, please, please do it. There you go. You can see um, pretty much picks up both. Go there's that mana. And now going from 480 to 630 back up to full. Only had to drain two and a half moon wells. This moon well off over here. Yeah, 630 mana. If you didn't see it, that warden is going to be an absolute beast the exact items you want if you are going for a solo warden if you weren't going for a solo warden before you are now all right warden now making its rounds gonna chase after that footman here that footman taking a lot of damage um is he gonna be able to get away oh there's another shadow strike pretty much takes it down already and that warden is just doing a, doing a little dance right there wow that that warden just looking oh so happy Warden now making its way back over. You can see that we are doing a little bit of a fight here. Who's going to pick up the um, pick up the experience? Did the Warden level? Let's see. The Warden did level. So the Warden stole the experience there. And now with the Warden sitting at level 4. Level oh, beautiful steal back. That fireball. That was a Dota move right there. Long distance fireball. Able to take it down as Laliet is going to really make this warden a one-man showstopper oh fan of knives potion of lesser invulnerability no potion of invisibility surprisingly as we look over here there is a guard tower but no arcane tower yet to be built off over here let's take a look where is this warden gonna go warden getting off of nice fan of knives now just gonna be making the rounds perhaps getting in a little bit of damage here going after the water elemental already the warden can just blink in get in a whole bunch of damage in just a moment there is another fan of knives just spinning around in circles to get damage on units footmen do not have defend as of yet workshop now just desperately trying to be built as we are going to see another fan of knives there pretty much um, taking down one peasant already all right warden still able to fight back a very very good number there Dryads do have a abolish magic, but I don't know if it's really going to work out. You can see a little bit of damage spread out across multiple units as we are looking at a Blood Mage. Blood Mage being added to counteract this rather small army. All of these range units have relatively low hit points, even with... Oh, Fan of Knives right there dealing so much damage and once more Siphon Mana. As the Warden is going to go ahead and finish off some more units. The Warden getting very close to level 5 here. Are we going to perhaps see a blink? And there's a beautiful fan of knives right there. All right, just go after Footman now. Another Footman gets taken down. As the Warden is just going to continue to get some easy shots off on those units. Are we going to see more damage being dealt? There goes a Dryad level 5 now on the Warden. Warden just going after the Troll Berserker. Not really caring about any which way any damage taken the warden looking pretty happy as oh scroll of healing used just in time to try and save that dryad yeah that dryad i don't know if if it was really worth it didn't have to really heal that many other units but it did prevent the experience gain and also saved that dryad which will perhaps be better in the long run 52 over 80 supply 45 over 60 hawk sitting on no upkeep so the difference in gold is right now 20 a second versus 14. Laliette down. needs to be very very careful how th that mana is going to be spent dropping all of those items picking them all back up and then dropping and um, picking uh, yeah picking them all back up already up to 150 mana gonna go back over here to the north do it once more most likely and perhaps also use Nightfall as well to try and um, try and get more mana here. So many Moon Wells. So much. There you go. Up to 270. Oh, Clarity Potion. Now just going to sit there and wait a little while. Once it gets back up into the 330 range, pick up those items and then be on her merry way.
over here siphon mana into the archmaid the blood mage perhaps knowing that there's a beautiful siphon mana target in that warden should be continually coming in right there meanwhile let's take a look fairy dragon uh druid of the claw rejuvenation now being used saving that low hit point dryad getting it back up to full you see re reveal 71 over 80 supply lolouette does not uh, does not mess around gonna be going in for a very very big push here but it, it's an invisible army it's an invisible army of mortars archmage does not have a scroll of town portal though will most likely need that as we are going to be doing a little bit of a base trade all right and if i talk say a little bit i mean a definite base trade here all right warden now gonna try and engage here down over here here comes the units here comes the invisible mortars who's gonna do the damage first who's gonna win out first here all the units hiding in the back and there you go gonna go ahead and take down that tree of life all right squirrel of town portal desperately trying to save wisp now trying to save gonna purposely uproot so that it is no longer fortified armor without that fortified armor it actually takes less damage from those units there but off to the north are we seeing some nope that's just a lone footman and um, you see um by not having fortified armor it actually takes less damage because of the armor type even though it does lose a bit of flat out armor rating the fortified armor takes more damage from those mortar teams than say heavy armor all right Laluette now forced to repair this tree of life, forced to wait for that gold mine. You can take a look at that footman. That footman just going to get taken out very, very easily. Meanwhile, where is that warden? Warden is over here in the center portion, picking up some sentry wards. And the sentry wards are pretty much saying, um, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Going to drop the sentry ward most likely right here. Nope, it, it's going to be right in the base most likely. All right, let's see what's going to happen. The army is purposely circumnavigating around this main thoroughfare and in expectation of this. All right, oh, there's the ward. The ward is right there. And... And I believe Hawk actually saw the placement of the ward and knew, you know what? I can't do that. I can't go there right now. Sentry wards were sold courtesy of the Goblin Marketplace. And now this brilliant strategy, all for naught. Dust of Appearance may have been purchased, yes, by the Archmage to make sure that it isn't, um, it isn't purchasable from that Goblin Merchant Shop. Okay, let's... Let's take a look at what's going to be happening next. Fairy dragons, uh, chimera roost, uh, chimeras. I know some people say chimeras. I, I say chimera. Um, I think that's what the Oxford Dictionary website actually pronounces it, chimeras. Anyways, let's go ahead and come over here. I, I think once in a CSI episodes, the, the actors were saying chimera. And, you know, actors in television are never wrong, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way back over here. There you have it, troll berserkers, all the units... Quickly, quickly now trying to run back. Water Elemental is the weakest link. Most likely going to fall apart here and may end up giving experience to, yes, the Water Elemental. However, the Dryads now need to back off very, very quickly. And the Warden with Anti-Magic Potion, double Pendants of Energy. And I'm surprised that the Warden isn't just trying to rush in somewhere to try and get experience on his opponent's base. He is losing a little bit in the gold race right now, and we're in a little bit of a doldrum in this fight. There is nothing really going on, nothing really to determine the outcome of the battles. Both players are just trying to position themselves um, to be a little bit better than their opponent. Hawk, I guess, taking a play out of Yumiko's playbook, just pretty much sitting behind a wall of towers waiting for his opponent to make mistakes there, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Warden may try to come uh, come across over here. It is going to spot a whole bunch of stuff here. There's the anti-magic potion. There goes a peasant. There goes a peasant. There goes a peasant. There goes a peasant. And really just taking down so many peasants here. All right. Are we going to see another fan of knives? There we go. Finishing off a handful of other peasants. Going to blink back out. Yes, blinks back out. Almost level six. Back over here. The bears are here ready to go. And this sentry ward was beautifully placed to keep track of that unit. We are now going into a paladin as the third hero. 
So human try hero, and try as they might, they have been unsuccessful in taking down Laluette's unit. We are now looking at a very, very large bank on on what Laluette's side. Hawk, not so much as the warden. Well, oh yeah, anti magic potion wouldn't do anything, or excuse me, invisibility potion wouldn't do anything. Arcane towers have arcane sentry. All right, now warden now needs to back off. What are you doing trying to shadow meld there? in the middle of the day don't you know that well oh phantom knives potion of invulnerability taking down units taking down units taking down units is the warden gonna get to level six that is the big question that is the big question is it gonna be able to do so yes gets to level six and is now going to blink back out that's exactly what the warden wanted to do now all the warden needs to do is bring over that spirit of vengeance warden very very low on mana though However, these moon wells are pretty much all full upgraded moon well capacity as well up to 425. Down over here, Paladin is almost at level 2. Archmage didn't get any experience, rightfully so, as you don't really need that little bit of extra experience. You rather have a Paladin at level 2 who can have Divine Shield and fight back. All right, let's go, go ahead and continue on on all of this here in just a second we are still making our way back over here as the bears dryads berserkers all getting into position the warden now in position now going to be making its way as we're looking at the paladin as the paladin now making its way down over here archmage going to be clearing out trying to take out the huntsman trying to take out all of these units here as the warden may be able to come in here oh flying machines beautiful fan of knives uh, so much damage dealt however where that uh, where did the warden go warden blinking warden so difficult to capture and just gonna go ahead and just continue to move on the merry way another fan of knives goes down bears now trying to come in spellbreakers trying to come in mortar teams trying to just shatter the dryads in the back and we saw exactly that as the Dragonhawk Rider, all right, Blink continuing to work around. Scroll of Healing continuing this fight here. Fine Machines now with nothing to attack as the fight is continuing to rage on. Oh, okay, Warden continuing to fight here, trying to take down unit after unit after unit. We can see some Fairy Dragons up in the air. Blink away once more as the Bears need to get stabbed to preservation. There's a beautiful another fan of Knives coming in from the back here. And uh, so many Bears, so many units are going to be falling here. Bear number one down. Bear number two down. Bear number three is on the run. And it looks like it may be able to get away. Spellbreakers. So far, so much damage has been had. Spellbreakers going after the units. Another bear gets taken down. And another bear bites the dust. Level 3 on the Paladin already. And this is going to be a fight to see whether or not a, a level 6 um, Dark Ranger or level 6 Warden is really enough in order to fight back. All right, Avatar of Vengeance. Uh, oh, Ethereal Form. Warden now in the very, very far back here. And gonna blink off to the north. Didn't have time to drop down some of those um, all-important pendants as well as we're gonna see a continual fight here. No more mana, but then again, the Warden doesn't really need it. Also, a very, very strong in one-on-one -on -one fights as well as the Archmage down to 22 hit points does escape. And there you have it. After, as the dust settles, 50 over 100 supplies, 61 over 100. Crazy damage being dealt on both sides. All right. Now give me one second. All right. All right. As the dust settles, you guys can, well, you guys can auto follow this. All right, let's go ahead. Warden now trying to come back in over here. Anti-magic potion going after these units. And really what Laluette is doing is Laluette is trying to find a moment where there is perhaps low on mana or low on gold, forcing uh, Hawk to really not be able to train all that back up. All right, Laluette now coming back in over here. Ancient of War, 60 over 100 supply is showing. Spellbreakers are now making their way up. Ancients of War now picking themselves up to join in on the fight. As you see, the Entangled Goldmine is taking a bit of damage. All right, let's see. Avatar 
of Vengeance is right here. Damage is being dealt. Avatar of Vengeance so, so strong here. Sorcerer is now trying to get caught or getting caught in transit. Very, very bad play there as all the units are desperately running for the hills. All right, I still don't know. There is the um, Warden blinking away, trying to get away once again. The Warden now maybe making its way back over. You can see that the um, Flying Machine is just doing a crazy, crazy job. As you can see, the Avatar of Vengeance trying to fight back here. All right, blink forward. Another fan of knives, however, counteracted by a Squirrel of Healing. Archmage is at 23 plus damage. Dealing crazy amounts of damage as well. As we see another fan of knives come in. All right, blink away in order to break that siphon mana. But as the blood mage gets higher and higher, it is going to be very, very strange. All right, another fan of knives right there. Banish there, preventing the warden from attacking. The warden currently... I have shadow melded waiting for another fan of knives there it goes gonna go after another unit there there was a fairy dragon as well as we see more damage being added oh the warden just uh, biding her time going after units beautiful use of shadow meld by the warden to fan of knives units as they are trying to run away all right slow now being cast oh that spell breaker um, just somehow able to stay alive water elemental finally gets taken down warden somehow does not have enough mana in order to escape all he all needs is a little bit of mana there is a little bit of mana right there are we gonna see a blink i believe it only costs 10 mana to blink just blink away oh there goes a little bit of an extra experience right there you can see that the spellbreaker is coming close the spellbreaker what are you doing warden what are you doing warden what are you doing thank you you're giving me a heart attack is what you are doing warden Staying alive. Didn't drop the Pendants of Energy, though. That was a big surprise. Staff of Preservation needed in order to heal units and or and save those units as they are on the run. All right. It looks like this bear is somehow making a way as, out as the Avatar of Vengeance is now back out on the field. Avatar of Vengeance needs to find some corpses. There are plenty or some down off over here. Are we going to be turning those into spirits of vengeances that is the big question more wisp now being brought down as we're looking at a fight here ancient of war taking far too much damage and gonna be giving free experience to that paladin and that blood mage archmage not close to level six yet and it looks like hawk is going to be doing a great job in this upcoming fight all right pendant of energy clarity potion now being used in comes the fight here spellbreaker blink fan of knives trying to get away trying to break it mortar teams in the back backfield in motion no backfields completely standing still and gets torn apart there flying machines um, detonations mass wisp detonations now coming in after uh, after everything we've seen in terms of the fight the one unit that was actually getting the human army to run for the hills were wisps all right uh, paladin now continuing the fight here warden I'm continuing to blink around the map, really not caring. Flying machines now slowly getting taken out of the sky as the Avatar of Vengeances are able to attack air. Siphon mana away. Warden at level 9, still trying to fight back. Are we going to have a level 10 hero? Chimera is now out on the field. I'm sorry I was not keeping track of the bases, but Chimera is now out on the field plus 26 damage really oh there is a blink there's the takedown as lalouette is just having a great day now all right the chimera is going to be able to uh, see how quickly a water elemental actually melts to a chimera the chimera is doing magic damage to the heavy um, heavy armor of a water elemental the dryads are now going to be in a much safer place as militia are being called over only to sacrifice themselves 63 over 100 gold has about five minutes left on the gold mines oh human gold mine nearly done what you see is what you're gonna get as the fight is now raging on water elementals quick abolish magic here uh, flying machines trying to engage uh, chimeras cannot attack air unlike both frost worms as the chimeras oh dragon roast or dragon rider now going to go ahead and definitely shackle this it looks like the chimera is going to get taken down no still stays alive level 10 on the warden level 10 warden now fighting back siphon mana chimera up in the front lines somehow staying alive mortar teams just getting melted apart dragon rider quickly comes over gonna shackle down one chimera out of the sky hate to be underneath a chimera when it dies 
as we're looking at the bears doing the slow bear march over supply count 40 over 100 compared to 59 over 100 gold still has about four minutes left gold has about 10 seconds left seven six five four three two one no more gold 112 gold our standing armies what you see is what you get stab of preservation is it gonna save the bear is it gonna save the bear yes it will scroll of town portal in order to get away wow that that felt like a waste of 350 gold right there but the big big issue is that the warden with the number and the night elf army with the number of bears and moon wells out on the field even if the armies were about the same size any war of attrition, Laluet would win. He's able to heal his units um, more efficiently, get them back with more mana, get them more battle ready. And I don't believe I see a Staff of Sanctuary. No, no Staff of Sanctuary on the human units at all. Without a Staff of Sanctuary, you can't save high, high cost units such as Spellbreakers and Dragonhawk Riders and send them back home. That is going to be the big issue there. All right. Gonna have plenty of lumber, but nowhere to, uh, well, nowhere to use it. As we're looking at the Druid of the Claws, Chimeras, and Wisp now making their way out. Gold, about two minutes left. Dragonhawk Riders. Hawk really looking for every ounce of gold he can find. As we are now wandering back around here. Alright, back off to the north. Warden. Looking to finish off units. 840 mana. Oh, Blink, Fana Knives. Takes down one unit. Takes down two. Doesn't really even matter as he as the Warden can't gain experience. A level 10 Warden, a one-woman army, looks to take control of the game here. Archmage may be forced to sell a handful of items. Boots of Speed on the Paladin. Boots of Speed. There's a quick Blink Banish. There's Siphon Mana. Losing all of that as the Warden, as you know, I believe has 10 mana blinks with a one second cooldown and going after all the units there. Full Shadow Strike, full fan of knives, blinking in order to get away and still doing a good job there. Fan of knives going after the unit still takes down another and still going to be able to blink around to perhaps take down a handful more units. That Warden was so difficult to keep track of. Yeah, like just blink, blink. Blink. Oh, are you going to use Nightfall? Are you going to use a Moonstone? Uh, Clarity Potion? Oh, Clarity Potion, Anti-Magic Potion. As we are looking at what is left of the armies. All right. 46 over 100. 66 over 100. This may be the final fight here. Uh, we are going into a final fight here. Uh, Divine Shield on the Paladin. Shackles already in play. Uh, we are going to see that, that beautiful Phantom Knives right in the center. Avatar of Vengeance right there. Chimera is back out on the field. And this is going to be the game. Human Army on the run. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game number one. Resource. Gold mined. Gold lost to upkeep. So... Un surprisingly, Hawk actually had more gold, lost less to upkeep, but Laluette with that level 10 warden able to take the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.